Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of cloudy Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. We've got a bit of a mixed bag out here. That mix is coming from both the Dow and the NDX 100 right now. Dow's up 133. The NDX is up 15. The S&P just turned slightly positive. It's flat. It's up 31 pennies out there. Uh, you got Russell 2000 is back 23 bucks or 1 and 3 tenths. Semis are back 2 and 3 tenths percent or 62 bucks. And that's actually where we're going to go ahead and start. The reason that we're going to start there is because the semiconductor index has both a buy the D point pattern for its daily and its weekly time frame out there. And that says that those patterns are not negated until price closes below the low, the low being 20106. Now, on the daily time frame, price is testing the swing point from uh, uh, June the 17th. That swing point had volume of 7.1 million shares. At 201 p.m., it has done 2.7 million shares. So it is pulling back on light volume. Now, if price closes below 207.20 today, even if it's on light volume, it suggests that price may go test the bottom, the bottom being 201.06. If you get more than 7 million shares and you close below 207 uh, and change 207.20, that's going to confirm that it is going to go test the bottom. However, if today in the semis they close above 207.20, you will have a test and rejection of a swing point on lighter volume. If you can't bust them to the downside, price will try to bust them to the upside. For the semiconductor index at this stage here, we'd have to go with the 221.46 as the upside potential. Let's go switch over and take a look at our cash indice charts out here, see what kind of signals they're showing us. And uh, give me a moment. We'll get the SMH charts off the screen there, and we will put our other cash indices. What we'll see here on the cash indice charts is prices above for the Dow, the S&P, the NASDAQ 100. It's above the red oscillator and change line. So it still is somewhat bullish conditions out here. The Russell 2000 has tested and rejected that red oscillator and change line, which, by the way, for the cash indices is at 17.1170. The semis, which are below that red oscillator and change line, it's a problem. However, you and I just did the study, and we can see that price is pulling back into that swing point with light volume. It needs a rejection, though. Remember, rejection would be a close above 207.20. The transports have tested and rejected their oscillator and change line. And, uh, and folks, what that, what that means is that there's still, there's still a good chance that we could see a rally going into the end of the week. Stay tuned. Your favorite polar bears up next. Have a wonderful Wednesday, folks. I'll see you tomorrow at 1 o'clock sharp on Terrific Thursday.